Good morning, everyone. I'm Chunks of Earth. I just wanted to state rather quickly that I boycotted the debates last night, and I'm going to probably boycott the next two because I find them to be offensive to my intelligence. Um, I don't believe for one moment that anything new or relevatory or, or anything is going to be revealed at these debates. To me, it's more like new evidence in the Bible suggests that it's true tonight at nine, uh, because it's not. There's no new evidence. There's no new anything. And all I see on Facebook and, and whatnot are the updates from, from friends and also these biased political uh, pages that claim that Romney's a bully, he smirks and he's smug, he's talked over the uh, moderator, Jim Lehrer is a piece of furniture, Obama wasn't strong enough, everybody lied, you know, it's just, why do you put yourself through that crap? That's, that's their job. Everything was orchestrated. You didn't see any third parties. And I contacted Sean Otto from Science Debate 2012, and he wrote me back, kindly enough. Nice guy. Really nice guy. I'm, I'm on Chapter 7 in his book, and it's a very interesting book. But uh, he wrote me back saying that he had contemplated with a group of, of people, advisors, about sending the third-party candidates the questions for Science Debate. And uh, the results were that Jill Stein isn't even on the ballot in 12 states. It's impossible for her to win. Uh, Gary Johnson, Rocky Johnson, Ron Paul. Uh, it was it was claimed that it it wouldn't do the organization much credibility. It wouldn't add to credibility, I guess. I, I don't want to say specifically how he worded it, but they stuck with this method for now, and hopefully things will change in the future, and they will be able to spread it out. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm not watching the debates. It's the Jersey Shore of politics. It really is. Anyway, I'm Chunks of Earth. So are you. And no, you can't sleep with my wife. You know who you are. <laughs>